the globe, no writing instrument is used by more people than the number two pencil. Originally, the term pencil, coined from the Old English pencil, was a small paintbrush made of fine camel hair and used by artists. But when, in the 16th century, a large deposit of pure graphite was discovered near Cumbria, England, the locals there found that when cut into strips, the mineral was useful for marking sheep. And so donned the first use of graphite as a writing implement. Pencils create marks via physical abrasion, leaving behind a trail of solid core material that adheres to a sheet of paper or other surface. The graphite core was originally thought to be a form of lead and was named plumbago after the Latin for lead ore, though we know now that graphite is actually a mineral allotrope of carbon, much like diamonds or graphene. Earlier attempts to manufacture high-quality graphite sticks from powdered graphite had been documented, but it wasn't until the Napoleonic Wars and 1795 that the modern manufacturing process became common. France, under heavy naval blockade imposed by Great Britain, was unable to import the favored pure graphite sticks from British Grey Knots mines, the only known source in the world nor could they import the inferior quality German graphite pencil substitute. It was Nicolas Jacques Conte, an officer in Napoleon's army, who rediscovered a method that by combining a mixture of graphite and clay into variable ratios and firing it in a kiln, he could vary the hardness of the graphite rod, leading to the variety of grades we have today. The standard grades are indicated by a number and a designated letter, H for hardness, B for blackness, and F, a letter arbitrarily chosen to indicate midway between HB and H. The standard writing pencil today is generally an HB, or number two pencil, though variations on grading standards do exist. The first wooden pencil was crafted around 1560, when an Italian couple conceived of a hollowed-out stick of juniper into which graphite was inserted. However, the first modern American pencil didn't arrive until the War of 1812, during the United States' Second War for Independence from Great Britain, when William Monroe, a cabinetmaker, began manufacturing wooden pencils by hand in his factory in Concord, Massachusetts. And in true capitalist spirit, the first automated process for manufacturing hexagonal-shaped pencils was developed later that year by a man named Ebenezer Wood, also in Massachusetts. Today, over 100 million wooden pencils are produced each day in the United States alone. Traditionally, favored timber for